Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Job chapter 6 verse 10 as well as Isaiah chapter 11 verse 6. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for another day. Lord God bless your children. Help them to have a wonderful day and receive this word and know that you are not far off Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Job chapter six, verse 10. This would be my comfort. I would even exult in pain, unsparing, for I have not denied the words of the Holy One. All right, so this is Job and he's standing while well, he's talking with his friends. And so um, he's asking the previous verse, he's asking for God to just crush him, right? to cut him off completely. Um, and he's saying this is the reason, well, it's not the reason, it's more of an explanation of the reason why he wants God to cut him off. It says, this would be my comfort, right? Um, I would even exult in pain unsparing, uh, meaning that like it would be his comfort to to receive that crushing completely being cut off from God. Um, and, and he's saying, even if he had pain unsparing, um, because he's willing to take that, he's willing to deal with that in his situation because he is wanting his friends to know, Hey, I have not done anything wrong. I am innocent in this case. He says, for I have not denied the words of the Holy One meaning that he has not turned away from God to deserve these things. And he's willing to put up with whatever it is that he's going through. And so it says, this would be my comfort. I would even exult in pain unsparing, for I have not denied the words of the Holy One. Have you ever gone through something and it feels like you don't deserve it, but you know that, hey, I haven't done anything wrong, right? I haven't, I haven't, you know, um, brought any, and, you know, I, sometimes I'm very, um, I don't know what the right word is. Sometimes I'm surprised, I guess, with Job because he is so confident in himself that he hasn't done anything wrong. Cause I, I don't think I could be that confident. <laughs> it would make you think, Hey, something I've done something, but it's God who is sovereign. God is the one who's in control. He knows, you know, what we've done. He's the one who knows our hearts. And here, Job is just saying that he has not denied God. He has not denied God's words. And he hasn't come against God in any way um, to, to feel this way. But he's willing to endure it, right? He says, this would be my comfort. I would even exalt in pain on sparing all right and so um it is conflated today with isaiah chapter 11 verse 6 it says the wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat and the calf and the lion and the fatted calf together and a little child shall lead them all right. And so this is, of course, talking about the millennial reign of Christ and um, how there will be an end to pain. That's why these are conflated. There's an end to pain. The cutting off is not of us from God. The cutting off is um, of, of, of death to us, right? It's, it's a fear, right? There's no fear in the millennial reign. There's no fear when we go to heaven and, and we, well, this is new Jerusalem. Um, but, but when we get there, there's good, there's not going to be any more pain, right? There's not going to be going to be any more discomfort. There's not going to be any more worrying about whether you deny the words of the Holy one, right? We will all be protected. We will all be safe, right? It says the wolf shall dwell with the lamb since when, right? You know, a wolf in the presence of a lamb would kill it. Um, a leopard in the presence of a young goat would kill it. A calf and a lion, a lion would kill the calf, right? And it's saying a little child shall lead these, these some of these very ferocious 
predators, right? Um, and yet a little child shall lead them. Um, in in the Job conflation, you know, we we face trials, we face pain, you know, we face death possibly, you know, but when we get there, we won't have to face any of that anymore. There will come a day when we will be able to rest. We will be like little children in the kingdom. We won't have to worry or fear for our children. We won't have to worry or fear for sickness and disease. It's all coming to an end. We won't have to worry about God crushing us, right? Here, Job is saying, he, he in the previous verse, he's just wanting God to end it all, right? And, and we won't have to worry about things like that anymore. There's an end to pain. There's a wiping away of every tear, right? He is there with us. He protects us. And we are in his kingdom. There is no fear there, right? All right, so that's the conflation for today, that God is our comfort and that we have hope here in that Job um, verse, in this Job verse, you know, there's a lack of hope. There's no hope, right, in his speech. So, and, and, and there, there will be hope. There will be hope unsparing. There will be, a, it's a place of, of, of just continual bliss, right? We don't have to worry about whether or not we have faith anymore because we will see face to face, right? Nothing, nothing will be veiled. Nothing will be in part. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord Jesus. Help us to have hope of your millennial reign. Help us to have hope that, that the crushing may be taking place in some of our lives, but you are our hope. You are our strength. You are our unfailing love, Lord God. Help us to not see the millennial reign as being so far off, Lord Jesus, but help us to realize that you are near. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, Go ahead and pray this prayer with me, but more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God. Jesus, forgive me for all of my sins. In your name I pray, Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he's going to help you with all the decision making of your life. And he is just going to be your constant friend. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.